who would you say if you could do one or two when you laid eyes on you said i have to get that guy you knew straight away well uh rock lesnar pops up you know you don't get a guy that's six three six feet three six four 270 with that kind of back athletic background he'd already proven in the amateur world that he was the best there was at a heavyweight uh he had uh, i met his father and his mother uh we tried to recruit the right way we want to know, we want to know everybody it's the family here and for you to know our family i got to know your family a little bit his dad was just as big as brock <laughs> he was a farmer in south dakota and a real good man, hard working, salt of the earth, human being. But Brock Lesnar was a guy, the you know, story of Brock Lesnar, I, I brought Brock Lesnar, Jerry Briscoe and I brought Brock Lesnar to a, a live event. It might've been a TV. Oh, it was a TV in uh, Minneapolis. And he was going to college there in Minneapolis, uh, university of Minnesota's there. Uh, and he says, uh, I tell me, man, I say hey, that new kid I'm recruiting is here tonight. Now, if you get a chance, I'd like you to say hello to him. So McMahon's walking out like his Vince McMahon walk, you know, and, <laughs> and he, uh, he happens to glance over and Jerry Briscoe standing by this monster and Vince made a U-turn beeline right to Brock. And, uh, he had never seen him, never watched him wrestle. Didn't know for sure. You know, he knew that I was high on him and Jerry was high on him. But Jerry didn't meet with Vince on a regular basis. I've met with Vince every day. Mm -hmm. I said, I got this kid. We're going to sign and he's going to be extraordinary. And, uh, uh you're going to love him. So when Vince saw and laid eyes on him, he just, it, he, he knew that we had the guy, if he had any aptitude whatsoever, we knew athletically Brock was going to be great because he, he's already proven his athleticism, mm -hmm. but if he could get the showbiz side of it. And the, uh, the aptitude, have the aptitude to be a pro wrestler. Uh, he's going to be our guy for a while. And that's how that worked out. I thought he was, uh, a great get. And then, you know, John Cena was another guy that when I interviewed John, he was very muscular. He looked like, uh, like he's called himself prototype at that time. He looked like a young sting, Steve Borden haircut, you know, but he was yeah. jacked and he was driving limos and moving furniture and he's in LA trying to get discovered by somebody. And I, he was learning to wrestle and I went out there to do some more recruiting and, uh, it, uh, got in Rick Bassman's school. I think it was called UPW. I'm pretty sure something like that. A lot of initials in wrestling, Alex, you'll, you know, <laughs> yeah. a lot of initials, buddy. So, uh, and, uh, uh, I think, uh, he was just, uh, I thought it was just going to be the look was there, but I had no idea that he was so, uh, deep rooted in wrestling history and nostalgia. You could put him on a TV show like jeopardy and he had clear the board on all the wrestling questions. Hmm. He was that big a fan and he had such great respect and reverence to what we did for a living. I said, this kid's going to be wonderful. I remember taking a red eye home from uh, California, back to Connecticut, across the country. And, uh, I went straight to the, our offices right off that red eye and, uh, caught up with Vince. And I said, you know, I just got back from LA this morning and I think I signed a main event for, uh, in five years of WrestleMania. He looked at me incredulously <laughs> like I was ins insane and, uh, he said, you need to go home and take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> You're delirious from your flight or whatever. So, uh, but as it worked out, we saw how that worked out. Mm. John's work ethic and his love of the game, love of the business shine through every day. So there's a couple of guys that were really good, you know, and then we had, you know, you think, well, Kurt Angle was another guy. I was going to say, he, how could he miss? He mm. want a gold medal. In 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 the in the heavyweight division, or two hundred twenty pound division, uh, in the Olympic Games in nineteen ninety six, so he was uh, another guy. He said, "Well, this kid can't miss if we can just keep him sane and and get him good coaching and good teaching." That's a great thing, Alex, about guys about real athletes. You know, Cena was an American football player. Lesnar was a uh, 
uh, amateur wrestler. They come from team environments mm. and Kurt Angle, of course, came from a team environment wrestling team at the highest level. And so you, you know, that they can respond to coaching. Well, they get, they, they respond to teaching and positive motivation. And that's what I tried to build my roster around was positive motivation, honesty, and, and positivity. And yeah. so those, those are those two, those three right there would come to mind real simply. Then you had some sleepers, you know, I didn't know the Hardy boys were going to become as good as they were. I signed them. They were like, I think they, they lied about their age or something. They might've been 17 or 18, <laughs> but, uh, I had no idea they're going to be that good. And then I didn't have any idea that Jeff was going to spin out and become something very, very special. Even though Matt was a rudder in the water, it kept everything flowing in the right direction. Jeff just had it. Hmm. So you have those guys, edge and Christian. When I signed edge and Christian, they were, they were skinny and lean Two Canadian independent wrestlers had never made any money and just bounced around and tried to find work. And so then they, they, they came aboard. There are two more students of the game, Alex. They, they invested back into the product. Hmm. They wanted to learn more. And so they became great stars. So you never know where it's going to come from, but the ones that the eyeball test, you know, uh, Lesnar angle, uh, Cena, no brainers. Just, you just look at an eight by 10. Hmm. There's more to it than just an eight by 10. 